Welcome back. I wanted to do a couple of videos uh, with compressors. Uh, a couple of things. Um, nice sunny day today. I was hoping to do this in the summer when it was warmer, but um, uh, not too bad today. Sun's out. Snowy day. I actually had to wait before starting the video for the snow plow to go by. Um, so he's gone. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple of videos. I grabbed these compressors uh, the other day and um, uh, one I want to do, I'm going to uh, ohm out the compressors, ohm out the windings and another one I'm going to do, I want to cut them up, cut them open, use my grinder. I actually uh, bought this nice little Milwaukee grinder, battery grinder uh, recently, so I'm going to put that to the test cut these compressors open and we'll see what's going on inside on another video. Uh, so this one will do some some resistance checks. Um, the big one here, then I picked this up, I drained a little bit of oil out and it was, it's really black and really stinky. So I'm assuming we uh, might not get too far with the readings on that one, but we'll see. Uh, the little one, that's uh, a Tecumseh 4440. Um, like, millions of those out there so we'll have a look at that and uh, uh, see what we find so sit tight so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the information on these compressors so the big one here copeland zf 18 kve tfe it's a scroll compressor uh, the other specs here i can't really see oh, you got a glare there but I can't really see the voltage is pretty pretty scratched off here, but I can tell from the TFE. TFE is 575 three phase. Um, you can get that from the manufacturer's information. So I know that about that compressor, the Copeland or the Tecumseh one here. Um, hoping without the glare, you can see a 4440, 115 volt. And we'll check that one later. This one I noticed when I grabbed it. Um, it's something that not too common, but the one pin here is actually burnt off. So I'm I'm wondering if maybe the compressor is okay and just the pin burnt off. There's really not. You can get repair kits for the pins, but um, not always the best solution. Sometimes the best solution is just to replace it for uh, what these compressors are worth. So. Um, that information there and with that information what I'm going to find out because I'm going to ohm these out so I did a little bit of Google searching and uh, there Copeland on that particular information it tells me right there what the ohms the ohm reading of these windings should be three phase so there should be three t there should be three readings of that information and then the uh, to come see one I just uh, got this here and it gives me this information so I actually have uh, if I can get that in focus there resistance for the main winding resistance for the start winding 1.65 3.44 uh, so we'll check those and see if that's what we get All right, so we're going to start with the uh, Copeland here. So we've set our meter to ohms, and we're going to go terminal to terminal. So check terminal to terminal, and oh, look, we have nothing. OL, OL, and... getting there Oops. O O L there as well I'm looking at it backwards O L O L nothing there and I'm just gonna check to ground as well so nothing nothing 
that thing. So we got a pretty, pretty catastrophic failure there. So it'll be interesting to see what we find when we open that one up. So next we'll do the, the Cumpsy. And I just picked up these leads. They are um, leads with clips on the end to plug in my meter. So it uh, makes it a little bit easier for doing these. These can be a little, sometimes be a little bit difficult to uh, get readings. I've got my meter set to ohms. I'm going to turn that in a direction that you can see it. And then we'll clip on one terminal there. The, we'll do the two bottom ones first. Clip on. And there you can see we have 4.6. On the two bottom. Take this one off, go to the top. Oh, 1.6. And we'll move the bottom one over. 4.6, 1.6. Three point three point three top to left. So I'll write those down and we'll go over those inside a little bit better so we can uh, see what those readings are. Four point six, one point six, three point three. So just to go over the numbers a little bit. Um, so on the Copeland compressor, it was pretty evident that windings were open, um, not much else you can get from that, no shorts to ground, but open open windings on the compressor. On the Tecumseh, and I'll write these numbers bigger, so I don't know if you can see that or not, the one 1.653.45. Just compare to what we actually had. We actually had, and I'm gonna, because we couldn't, the pins weren't identified. We didn't have the cover, we couldn't identify the pins. So what we'll do is we'll just go through what we actually got there with those pins. And so the across the bottom, we got 4.6. Top to right. We got 1.6, top to left, we got 3.3. So what I'm able to determine from that is which windings which. This one has the most resistance, so this is the start winding. This has less, so this is the run. So this would be the common. This would be S, this would be R. So based on that information that uh, I was able to just take, I'm able to figure that out. All right, so that wraps up the uh, compressor side of things. Uh, we'll do a few more videos down the line, uh, cutting them open. So uh, watch for those.